and I 100% total for this bill to the House. Kia ora tatu. Mr Speaker, I te mana whakawā. I call Harete Hipango tēnā, tēnā koe. koe. Um, first of all, I acknowledge the Minister for the work and effort and the members of your committee that have gone into the formulation of this bill. However, I stand as a new MP and speak um, in support of the National Party in opposing the proposed legislation. And I will speak, I will speak to the facts of the situation rather than the emotive talk. And I acknowledge the emotion that goes with such a subject and the content around the concern associated for people living in unhealthy homes. May I just share with you that looking at the title Order. to this bill... Sorry to interrupt the member, but if the, if the members across um, both sides of the House want a conversation, please to take it to the lobbies. Thank you. And thank you, Mr Speaker. And in continuing my view shared with the House, the acknowledgement to the Minister and the members of your committee is simply to say and share with you that when I look at the title, Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill, the emphasis and focus of this, of course, is the onus that's placed on landlords and their duties and responsibilities to tenants within the homes. The opening statement that you made, Minister, I listened carefully to your words, were that you said every New Zealander, every New Zealander, deserves a warm, healthy home. The emphasis of this bill is focused not on every New Zealander, it's a select grouping of tenants who live within the property owned by a landlord. I've represented for a good part of my professional working life the most vulnerable, those in deprivation and those in high need. And I simply share with you the expectation that this party will hold your government to account for is that every New Zealander does have that right to a healthy home. Now I simply share with you that over those nine long years, the National Party did address these issues and the detail and the facts of those have been spoken to in this House. And so in stating that, you will be well aware that when you were in opposition and you're in the position that now this party and opposition once was, that the government addressed the importance and significance of healthy homes for every New Zealander by insulating 290,000 homes through the Warm Up New Zealand programme alone and insulating 30,000 of Housing New Zealand stock. So these were commitments that were undertaken by the government at the time. I just simply would like to come back to the purpose of this... Order. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I would like to come back to the Minister's statement around the, the intent that every New Zealander deserves a warm and healthy home. The intent behind this proposed legislation is focusing, in your view, upon those who are vulnerable as tenants. I can share with you my life experience, and many of us that are in this house, is that there are many homeowners who cannot afford to insulate, and they were the very ones as well that the National Party supported with the insulation programme when it was in government for those nine long years. And prior to that, it's also acknowledged that in the time prior to those nine long years, that the track record that was there, Labor didn't quite meet the standard. So we look forward to now that you're in government because it is acknowledged that the numbers will be there for this, leg for this proposed legislation, this bill, to be passed into law. But I will come back to the factual basis of the concerns that this party has maintained. And that is, effectively, is this proposed legislation really a Clayton's bill? In other words, in other words the Residential Tenancy Act and the amendment to that effectively requires, by law, the insulation, the smoke alarms and the increased enforcement of housing standards. 
that's already in place. But let's not forget, coming back to the Minister's commitment and commend the Minister for that, every New Zealander deserves a warm, healthy home. This does not cover every New Zealander. We've heard reference to 50 per cent of our population lives within homes. Let's not forget the other 50 per cent who are homeowners. And I will simply share with you that I have many of my own whānau who are homeowners. They have not been able to afford and there have not been the standards imposed for them to have what is talked about as a healthy home. And those subsidies were provided under the last government, and that was the commitment that this National Party has ensured, and that was what was put in place when the last year National passed the Residential Tenancies Amendment Bill to say, as I earlier said, require those standards. And it's those standards that are proposed under this Clayton's Bill to be met. So I will simply say that with the introduction of those standards under the Residential Tenancy Amendments Bill, which is more balanced than the Government Bill before the House today, that this may be a Clayton's Bill and that it is un entirely not necessary and time permitting, I will just um, conclude by saying that I cannot support the passing of this bill into legislation. Thank you. Speaker. I call Kitty Tapu Allen. What an absolute delight.